Okay, let's go back to our chair form. Now we are going to test it to prevent a draft, bad draft angle. What does it mean? Uh, if you are creating for industry, which is for, for example, uh, mass production, you have to think about uh, many um, different kind of problems. One of them is a draft angle. Draft angle is the angle which will allow your objects, your product, your product go out of the form, of the molded, of the mold form. Yeah. In this case, you will see how what uh, trouble we can find on the way of uh, of our designing. So we'll have a look. If we go straight to our draft angle analysis, which is here, the the analysis tells us that everything what is red, it's I mean, it's bad it, because it's zero dra zero angle uh, angle. In this case, uh, the draft angle works on, only in z axis, which means that the this axis from the the the, 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 the mold will be split on this edge, and here will, there will be one part, and there will be the second part. So it means that this is minus direction, this is plus direction, and also it means that this is like uh, the the red one here is okay, because it's just on the other side. Let's do that different kind of test. To proper to do it properly, I will copy my object and put it here and rotate it 1800 degrees and we'll add the object to the analysis. So have a look now, you see? The, yeah, the blue part, the blue color means that this is 2 degrees near yeah, here because I can, I can set the, uh, the, the degrees the, uh, scale, yeah. So this is from zero to two. This red color means that there is no chance for uh, for mold form to goes out of the of this form. It, which also mean, means that I have to split the form in not just two pieces. I have to split the form in, for example, three or f or five. In this case, uh, probably the experts uh, who uh, from production will tell us better how to do. But anyway, what shall I do to make it right? I, the best way is to design this chair, to this uh, legs straight in the z-axis, which means I have to have the, the, uh, the, the form have influence in our design. Well, kind of influence, because uh, if engineer tells us, you can do it, but we have to split the form in five so which means there are this is rising costs uh, but company finally saying okay there's no problem i can cover that yeah so uh, you have to decide what you're doing but anyway if you want to design proper pro product i mean proper if you want to do the form which will split uh, which will be split in two you have to set the legs straight yeah, so you just need to design to redesign this the size the, the, the direction of your leg. In this case, you have to do it almost from beginning, which means that I have to explode this legs, get rid of get rid of my legs, and I can finally do my leg like this <coughs> so this is gonna ma gonna be my leg and you will see what's the difference between uh, analysis so I have to uh, revolve around the zero point mm, array around the zero point Center is a zero point three times and three sixty, and now I can make a cylinder exactly like before, or whatever I like. Fifteen, go down, revolve 
exactly the same as we did in previous tutorial. So now I can do the same, which is blend surfaces. <coughs> and, and do again here. Delete that one. Delete the donor of my curvature. And then array again in zero, three times exactly and then make a cup uh, join and cup this is cup here yeah. and now finally I'm going to make a fillet here okay and then I'm going to test it again so look we'll see the difference we'll see if this is really if this uh, really works well it it is definitely changed a lot right now the shape and the design there's no angle this uh, this chair loses his sta stability uh, which also uh, is a big problem so you have to really be in contact with engineers doing designing yeah? and they tell you what you can do so okay, let's test it. But may maybe this is this is all right. This is uh, draft angle analysis. Look, I set it to the deg two degrees, but um, I'm not sure what is what how the big degree should be in rotor molding process. I know at injections, uh, the very precise uh, forming injection forming is between 0 0.5 and 0 0.75 which allows you uh, to do the right draft angle. Uh, but I decided to do two degrees. I think this is pretty enough. Okay, let's have a look. That looks pretty great. Let's have another copy of this and let's rotate it because the blue tells us more than red. Red is really ugly color. color. And let's add our objects and have a look. All right, it's not bad, but we have kind of yellow here, which means that here I am in one degree. Look, see? Uh, which means that it's big pr uh, possibility that this, is, this will be okay, as long as one degree is okay for production, molding production. So basically, this is it for, for the test. I'm happy with, the, I'm happy with this. Now I, I'm definitely um, able to go and uh, to check it with engineer if everything is okay, if they accept one degree in, uh, in here. So there is lots of possibilities that the form can be split in two right now. I'm not sure, I, I can just guess. All right, this is actually it. So now it's your turn.